and new at 10. Get ready. You might be paying more for groceries in the near future because of the ongoing war in Ukraine. Economists say the conflict could make it harder for stores to get supplies. WREG's Andrew Allison tells us grocery stores across the Mid-South are keeping a close eye on rising prices and fewer supplies. The effects of the war in Ukraine reaching the Mid-South, threatening to drive up the cost of groceries. From an economic point of view, everybody loses. Local economist Dr. David Sissel says the conflict could lead to supply shortages and make existing supplies more expensive. Ukraine is such a huge exporter of wheat in particular, we're probably going to see continued rises in almost all products that have wheat in them. Very few products that uh, don't have wheat in them, uh, including uh, you know, your fried chicken. Uh, which is breaded. We just have to attack it as best we can. Taylor James handles day-to-day -day operations at South Point Grocery in downtown Memphis. His store, like others nationwide, is already dealing with supply issues because of COVID-19, which continues to cause delays in warehouses when workers get sick. It's just really trying to stay on it every single day. It's, um, you know, you get an invoice and, you know, 50 items are out of stock. Okay, well, is there a substitute that we can use for those items? Is there a different size? Is there a different brand? He doesn't anticipate a supply issue because of Ukraine anytime soon, but says his team is ready to weather the storm if and when it hits. Our prices are, uh, are, are pretty locked and, and we're going to keep it as low as we can. We're not, um, you know, we're very aware that price matters and people are making are looking at those price tags. And so we're going to work hard to keep those prices down if that's working with our manufacturers. Welcome words to shoppers like Marvin Roddy, who says he's ready for anything. You know, that's, that's life. Okay, inflation goes up, prices goes up. Uh, we make adjustments as Americans or just citizens, period. And that was Andrew Ellison reporting. Tonight, the big question, though, is how high might those prices go? Economists say that depends on how much destruction Ukraine sustains.